Happy Wednesday, everybody. Uh, for those of you who are joining us uh, for the week, we're going to take a little bit longer meditation today. Not too long, maybe about 30 seconds, but it's going to seem longer. We get a little bit of that mind and body relaxation, and we're going to get right back in our movements. Today, I want to look at range, our reach, and I'm going to look at a little bit of footwork along with all the other exercises we're doing today. So, everybody go ahead and get into their nice, strong front positions. Peace over power. Show respect. Good. Step out. Actually, you know what? Today, we're going to go ahead and we're going to sit crisscross with our back straight, hands on our laps, eyes closed. Don't give any of your brain any stimulus. We're just going to sit here for about 30 seconds, deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. So only nose breathing. Wait there, keep your eyes closed, keep breathing. Good, open your eyes, shake out your hands. Shake out your arms, wiggle the neck, good. Come on up, pop into the feet, shake out the legs, shake out the knees. All right, to warm the body up, we're gonna start with a little boxing exercise. So getting out of our classical into our practical, I want everybody to get your left foot in front. I want you to use your jab, your cross, your hook, your uppercut. If that's too much for you, you can just go one, two, one, two. I'm going to do all straight lines. My circles are going to make a circle with my hook and a circle with my uppercut. And the whole time, I'm using my steps and my hip rotation. So when I say go, we're going to fire that full four moves out. I'm going to pop on that, on that uppercut. Here we are. And move. Move. Now we're going to start with the right hand. I'm going to go right, left, two straights. Right circle with my hook, left uppercut. Notice how when I fire one, the other one stays back for protection. Stays back for protection. So I'm only give one, take one. I'm always offense and defense at the same time. If I just throw my offense and I don't leave anything to protect myself, I'm getting hit at the same time. So, guards up now. We're going right, left, right, left. Straight, straight, hook, upper. Here we go. And move. Stop. 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 Move. Shake it out. Good. So we spent a lot of time on legs yesterday. We're going to get into some of those, trust me. But let's start out with the arms. We're going to pass it over to Miss Carrie. Give us a little bit of an arm workout here. All right, guys. We're going to start. Um, we're going to use our eight-point blocking set to warm us up a little bit. We're going to do a little bit of different than what we normally do. So we're going to everybody start facing forward in your horse stance. We're going to start. We're going to do ten outward blocks to the front. We're going to jump. We're going to do 10 inward blocks. Then we're going to jump to the back. We're going to do 10 upward blocks. Jump again. 10 downward blocks. So we're going to get a little bit of workout in our stance and work the upper arms. Here we go. Hands back to the ribs. And 10 outward blocks. One, two, three.
Nice job. Good. Those lungs should be filled up a little bit now. Let's get into some more arms, some more core. Full body workout on this one. I'm doing it right. Let's get into our planks. So we're only going to do about 30 seconds on this one. But we're going to make sure that everything is lined up right. I'm up on the balls of my feet, not the flat of my feet, the instep. I've got my hands positioned directly underneath my shoulders, a straight line from my shoulders the whole way down to my feet. I don't want to let myself melt, and I don't want to let myself lift up. If you're doing this right, not only should you feel your arms work, but you should feel your stomach and your back work trying to keep that line straight. So that's why it's a full body workout on this one. All right, here we go. Everybody get set. And up, 430. Use your breathing. Twenty seconds. Keep that straight line. If you feel yourself start to sag, lift it back up, tighten up those stomach muscles. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come back to your knees for a second. Quick foot stretch. So a good way to stretch out our foot weapons. We're gonna go up on our insteps and we're just gonna sit back. We're gonna roll a little bit on those knees. Side to side, keeping the back straight. Now, those of you who have trouble with those front ball kicks, we're gonna come up, we're gonna lift up those toes, and now I'm gonna set that weight back down on the toes. And this is a good stretch for the the bottom of the foot, and get those in-step kicks. Good. Now that we stretch those out, let's get into some kicks, but we're not just doing any ordinary kick today. We're gonna do shallow front ball kicks. So, we're gonna start down in our kneel stance. Think of this like a neutral bow. You should be able to do your karate anywhere. I should be able to do it standing. I should be able to do it kneeling. I should be able to find power sitting and even laying down. We look at some groundwork. We have techniques where we can defend ourselves from the ground. So this is still a practical stance. Notice once again, I'm not using an instep. I'm using the ball of the foot that gives me a spring to come up. So right leg, back is straight, guard is up the whole time. I'm lifting up, I'm kicking, I'm coming back down. I don't want to slam my knee onto the ground. I want to control how I land. All right, here we go. 10 on the right. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. Now, from here, jump switch. There's a fun little exercise that you've worked on. Let's do that three times. Jump switch. Jump switch. Jump switch. One more. Jump switch. Good. So now we're going to work the left leg. Same idea. Use the front leg and your lift and the ball of your foot to, to launch you up in the air. I want to make sure I'm not straightening this leg. I'm still keeping a bend as I rise up. Here we go. Ten. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Right from here. Yep. Everybody, if you're really pushing yourself, remember if you're saying that was really easy, there's always more effort you can put in to make it a more challenging workout to you. If you can hear me right now, I'm talking through some wind. It's because I was pushing myself on each kick. Now, we're gonna start from the ground. We're gonna do a little groin and back stretch. So this is gonna look a lot like a whale tail. I'm gonna take my knees and I'm gonna move them apart. Right, I'm gonna make a little triangle. And with my feet, 
I'm going to put them together just like that. Now, I'm going to walk my hands forward. And I'm going to let my hips go down towards the ground. I'm squeezing my ab muscles tight. And I'm also lifting up the back. Now, let's add a little shoulder movement for the upper back. Three more breaths. Oh, yeah. Just carrying myself and getting some cracks in here. The older you get, the more your, your body starts making cracks, whatever you stretch and you move. Now, let's get into a little bit of that range idea. And without physically moving, let's explore our weapons that go from long range to mid to short, right? Range is a two part idea. One, it's how far my weapons can reach, whether I'm using foot weapons or hand weapons, but it's also how far my opponent's weapons can reach, whether they're using hand weapons or foot weapons. I have to know both, because I have to have, I have to juggle that offense and defense. And think about that defense being primary. So knowing what my opponent has, knowing what I have to defend before making that strike out. So, I'm gonna show you this uh, exercise first, facing you guys in a mirrored idea. So I'm using my left, you're using your right, just like you were looking at a mirror. And we're gonna start with our front two knuckle punch. Oh, no, excuse me. We're gonna start again. We're gonna start with our spear. So I'm gonna bring that same arm back and I'm gonna collapse it into my leopard's palm. So it's almost like a palm strike but I'm bringing those fingers in halfway. I still have my thumb uh, uh, pinched in, folded in at the side. I'm gonna rechamber front two knuckle punch, rechamber chicken wrist, rechamber forearm, rechamber elbow, rechamber shoulder. Shoulder can be a weapon if I'm close enough. Rechamber headbutt just for fun. Don't, don't try a headbutt. Go, you can end up hurting yourself more than the other person. Ready? Spear, half fist, front two knuckle, chicken wrist, forearm, elbow strike, shoulder, headbutt. Good, let's do both at the same time then. Spear, half fist, front two knuckle, Chicken wrist, forearm strength, elbow, that's a weird one, and shoulder, one, two, headbutt, good. Let's see what that looks like from the side so we can see how those different ranges come in. Let's start with our left. So I've got spear, half fist, front two knuckle, chicken wrist, forearm strength, Elbow strike. See how close I have to be for that elbow strike? Shoulder, headbutt. Other side. Spear. Half fist. Front two knuckle. Chicken wrist. Forearm. Elbow. Shoulder. Headbutt. Now, let's look at those reaches on those ranges. We're going to move a little bit closer here because we're going to focus on the upper body. As far as how, how close I need to be for all of these. With my spear, remember this is a soft tissue strike. So I don't want to be hitting anything hard because my fingers are my weakest tool. So I only need to reach, if I was hitting her in the eye, about a digit in, but I can reach pretty far with that. Now half fist, see how that pulls my range away? So I need to be closer. There's my depth of my target. I move into my front two knuckle punch. I gotta get a little bit closer because I wanna hit with a bend so that as I extend, if you imagine me hitting and punching through, that's where I want my punch to finish on the target. Now I get even closer. Chicken wrist. I have to bend that back. If I go here, I'm hit with the front. That's bad for my wrist. So look how close that is. Once again, there's the range I need to be in. Forearm strike, same idea, closer. Elbow strike, uh-oh, see how I lost range again. Gotta get closer. 
And then shoulder, I can use that shoulder for really close. Maybe if she has her arms around me and a bear hug, if I rotate those hips, there's where my shoulder becomes a weapon. And then if and only if I know how to use it, come on, there's my, there's my head butt really close range. So there's a little idea with our, our hand range weapons. Now, this is gonna be a test for me because I added some to this exercise before we started too. But also for you, we're gonna do a little challenge. We're gonna try to do these a little bit faster for a little bit of uh, coordination and uh, awareness gain. So here we go. Spear, half fist, front two knuckle, chicken wrist, forearm, elbow, shoulder, headbutt. Spear, half fist, front two knuckle, chicken wrist, forearm, elbow, shoulder, headbutt. Good, let's see that from the side. And spear, half fist, front two, chicken, forearm, elbow, shoulder, headbutt. Uh, spear, half fist, front two knuckle, chicken, Forearm, elbow, shoulder, headbutt. Nice job. Shake that out. So a little bit of idea with our range and how to use that, when to use that. Knowing how far our body can reach is a very important tool. And it gets trickier when we're in sparring. When we're practicing in the air, there's no moving targets. In sparring, that person's gonna move around with us, which is gonna get us into our leg work to, to help with range. But first, before we do that, let's look at foot weapons. So we're gonna get a little bit of balance today, and we're also going to um, look at the different parts of our, our feet that we might use. So let's start by touching with the toes, just for, just for an idea of range. We'll start with our, our, our feet together, lift that knee up, Reach out with the toe. Now pull that back. Ball of the foot. Pull that back. In step. See how that reach got shorter? Pull that back. Now imagine shin. See how much closer that is than the instep or the foot? Now bring that back down. Knee. Look at the gap between my foot and my knee. There we go. Let's do the other leg. Up for balance. Reach with the toe, back, pull the toes back, ball of the foot, back, in step, back, shin, back, down, and knee. Good. So, a little bit idea with my, my feet. Let's move back just a little bit so we can see the feet. If I have shoes on and no other point that have a, a really strong front, then I can use the front of my foot to hit. Otherwise, I want to keep those toes safe. So I can reach pretty far with those, uh, those toes. I pull the toes back, it's not too much of a difference, very slight, but that's still punching forward. Now, if I want to use the instep, I have to get closer for that target. If I want to use the shin, same thing, I gotta get closer. Last one, knee, super close strike. So there's my ranged weapons with my hands, my ranged weapons with my feet. I can look even more in depth with that. Roundhouse kick. Roundhouse kick's about a mid-range weapon because of the circle. Good. I wanna take a little bit of a, 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 a mat chat break here. Just a reminder of our, our word of the day before we get back into techniques. Some more drills, get the heart rate up again. Perspective, or point of view, the lens in which I, I see the world. So idea for today is thinking about how someone else might view the world, whether it's, it's the way they think or the way they're, they're feeling. So your perspective idea, your little game for this week to go around is using your imagination. What if you are an artist? So some of you like to color, some of you like to draw. So go out in the world around you, whether it's in your, your house, whether you get a chance to go for a walk today and look at everything just as far as colors and shapes um, and how the, the world interacts. Think of if you were 
a policeman. What would you be looking for? I remember when I was a security guard, I had a job. My job was to watch people and see if people were following the rules. So that affects the way I see the world. Um, imagine if you are uh, a teacher. How would you see it? Would you look at the world as lessons? What if you were a pirate? Could, would you imagine what place you'd take over, what, what you'd be looking for to capture? Use your imagination to, to, to get these different points of view. We're gonna uh, 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 keep this lesson going for another two days and expand on it. Good. Come on back up. Let's uh, uh, get some footwork in now. So you can do this whether, whether you have a big space in your room to work in or a time and space, you can adjust this to make uh, this work for you. So first I'll show you in, in our time and space. If Miss Carrie stays right there, take one big step back, and I only have this much to work, what I do is, I'm just going to use my, uh, my step through right now as an example. We're going to do different footwork. And I keep moving through that step through until the drill's done. And if I'm going backwards and I run out of space, I'm just going to turn around and I'm going to do the same exercise back. If you have more space to work on the drill, you're going to use the space that you have. All right, first, let's just start with our our eight foot walking, and let's work on our step throughs. Remembering to keep our toe heel alignment, our knee to heel alignment, and our 45s moving forward and backwards. Now, every time I take my step, I don't want to rise. I want to imagine a, a, a ceiling above my head that if I go up, I'm going to hit that ceiling and bump myself. Every step we're going to do, we're going to do our eight foot walking. So, once again, if you run out of room, just turn around and keep doing the exercise in the opposite direction. Let's start this one with our hands at our hips. And block number one, step through, going forward. Block number two, boom, outward. Block number three, inward. Block number four, inward. Block number five, up. Six, up. Seven, down. Eight, down. Good. Now we're gonna do the same exercise backwards. So if you need to move, to one edge of your space, go to that edge of your space. So I've got backwards, one, backwards, two, backwards, three, back, four. If you need to adjust and turn around and keep doing the exercise, do so. Back five, back six, back seven, back eight. Good, we're gonna do that one more time, forward and backwards. What source of power are we using right now? Take about 10 seconds to think about that. If your first answer was marriage of gravity, you're correct. If you said torque, you're not wrong. That's a secondary in this. There is a little bit of hip movement, but the first is landing and hitting at the same time. Here we go again. Ready? One, boom, two, pop, three, in, four, in, five, up, six, up, seven, down, eight, down. Bring it back again. One. Out, two, out, three, in, four, in, five, up, six, up, seven, down, eight, down. Nice. So let's take that for a second here. And those of you who have uh, been a part of the last two classes, we were looking at creating techniques, looking at our torque. Yesterday, we explored our torque with our forward bow and our neutral bow, switching up closed hand strikes and open hand strikes. Now to add a defensive maneuver, you can put any block with those. Let's start with an outward block, moving back, and then I just tie that same drill into what I was working on. I can take that same step forward. Let's do it with an inward block now. And I can open up my hands. Palm strike, chop. I can take the same idea backwards. I can look at an upward block. I've got my closed hands. I can look at the same idea going forward, downward block. And I can open up my palms again. 
So there is another addition to our technique. Once again, balancing that tacking idea, defending idea. All right, let's go into another footwork here. So we are just looking at step through. Everybody say step through. Good. So step through is just me walking through my karate and my neutral bows. Now we're going to work on a push drag. Push drag is going to be one foot in the other foot. And my stance is going to expand and then come back together. I always want to end up in that same dimension as I'm moving. I want to make sure that I don't end up any shorter or any bigger. We're going to do this with the back fist. So every time we take our push drag, we're going to uh, we're gonna mirror you guys on this one. Every time we land our push drag, we're going to use that marriage of gravity again. I'm going to use both of my hands, my attacking hand and my checking hand, are going to move together with my body movement. I train this big uh, chunk of body is what's driving that strike. Ready? And move. 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 Good. If you're out of space, go ahead and just turn around where you are. You're going to continue this exercise. And move. 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 Good. Time out real quick. I know I'm taking a lot of little uh, sidetracks here, but another lesson in range. What if I only have this small space here and I don't have the room to move in with that back fist? Well, I can either change my weapon or I can take a smaller step. See how that one was almost in place? Both of them are correct ideas. I either adjust my moving mechanism to not move as far or I change the weapon and I collapse. So with that idea, let's do that one more time and let's work our collapsed weapon. So we're gonna come in and every time you push drag, that front arm is gonna elbow. Let's put a sandwich in there. So I'm gonna palm base with my other arm. And move, move, move. Move, 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 move. Good. Now we got to do both of those backwards. So the same idea, I can advance on my opponent and I can also retreat with my movement as well. We're going to work going backwards now. When I move backwards, the direction that I'm going in is always the leg that I'm leading in. And remember, Go as slow as you need to, roll the crane. Go as slow as you need to, to get the technique down right. You can always speed it up later. All right, so we're gonna start the same hand. We're going backwards now. And move, 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 Good. From here, turn around. If you had to turn around earlier than that, that's all right. And move. Moves, 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 Good. Same idea, elbow. And moves, 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 moves. Going backwards. Moves, 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 moves. Move, move, move. Good. Come on up. Let's take one breath in. Let's take two. And let's take three. All right. So that was all one hand. We've got to switch now. We're going to do this one a little bit uh, faster. Not as far as speed, but less explanation. So, whichever leg you were on, we started on our left. If you were here us, you were on the right. If you weren't, that's all right. Switch legs. We're going to get our back fist now going forward. And move, 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 move. Good. Backwards. Move, 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 
Moves, 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 moves. Elbows, moves, 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 backwards, moves, 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 moves. Good. So once again, that whole exercise. If I have limited space, I can shorten the distance that I'm traveling in. Or I can even practice in place. I'm dropping and I'm taking up a smaller step with that. I can still accomplish the same marriage of gravity. I'm just adjusting for the range between us. Good, so we looked at our reach and our range with our hand weapons so far. We looked at our reach and our range with our foot weapons so far. A little bit of footwork to move our body forwards and backwards, whether we need to advance into our opponent, whether we need to back up and get some space, adding marriage of gravity to both of those. Let's look at one more idea. Let's get some kicks involved again. So we're gonna work shuffles into kicks. And I'm gonna break these down slowly one round and then we're gonna do them fast for a round. So, when I take my shuffle step, let's look again at what we did so far. Step through forward, step through forward. I'm walking, basically, in my karate. Step through reverse, step through reverse, hitting my stanchies time. Push drag, push drag. The, the direction I'm going, that foot is leading. Push drag. Push drag. Now shuffle is almost the opposite idea. The foot that's away from the direction that I'm going is coming up to meet the, uh, uh, the other foot, and then my foot goes forward. So this is my right, this is my left, it's in front. Back comes to front, front moves forward again. If I do that as one movement, it goes boom, boom. It's almost like one's knocking the other one forward. If I'm going in reverse, opposite idea. Front foot goes back to push the other foot out. Once again, ending up in my same neutral bow stance every time. I don't want to end up wider. I don't want to end up closed off. So let's work that shuffle with a front ball kick. We're going to do it slow first. So for this one, we're going to face the side so that you can see how our, our, our feet work together a little bit more. So my back foot comes up. My front foot lifts in the flamingo. There's my front ball kick. It re-chambers and it comes back down. Again, back to front. Front lifts up, kick, back down. One more time. Back to front, front lifts up, kick, back down. Now, let's switch sides here. I'm doing the same leg though. The same leg is gonna be in front. I haven't switched legs yet. And let's try that a little bit faster. So we're gonna go shuffle kick, good. Shuffle kick, shuffle kick. If you watch my hips when I do that, right now my belt knot or my belly button is over to the 45. It's not sideways, it's not straight forward. But when I take my shuffle, it's gonna turn forward so that I'm lined up for that front kick. I don't wanna keep it to the side here. Because right now, my foot's lined up for the 45 and for my side kick. Still works, but not for the front kick. Good. Let's try that one more time through. And this one, go ahead and let yourself blast it as fast as you can. If you need to slow it down, slow it down. And move. 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 Good. Same foot one more time. Move. 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 Good. Now let's turn it over. Let's get the right leg. Slow first. Back leg moves forward. Right leg lifts up. Kick and chamber down. Again, back goes to front. Front lifts up. Kick. Back down. One more time. Back goes to front. Up. Out. Down. Same foot. Right foot. Let's go a little bit faster this time. And back leg, front leg. 
Staff leg, front leg. Notice how I'm still getting my foot in there. Staff leg, front leg. Good. Now here's your time to jam it. Test yourself. See if you can do it a little bit faster. Go. 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 One more time across. And go. 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 Good. So, what's my advantage of the shuffle? If I'm out of range, I can't reach with my striking weapons in my hands. I can't reach with my feet. I can have a little bit bigger range and I can really close that gap fast. Or once again, I can modify that a little bit. I can use it as a smaller step. Notice how I'm not gonna step the whole way up to my foot this time. Wow, and I can still get that kick in. And the quicker I can get that front to back, an exercise that you can practice is just how fast can you lift up that knee. The knee up and the speed of that flamingo are gonna help your kick power and your kick height. All right, so now let's take that same footwork forward and let's bring it backwards. All we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse the movement. So, review again. Uh, stuff that gets uh, mixed up in a lot of people's mind. Push drag, the direction that I'm going, that leads first, right? Push drag, push drag, push drag. Shuffle, it's actually the opposite. It's the leg that's furthest away from where I'm going that's leading. And my stance is going to close and then open again. Let's do this one with the back kick. This is going to be a little bit tricky, but just like my front kick, my hips are going to line up to the front again. So I'll show you this from the front first. My front foot's going to come back. Opposite foot is going to flamingo, just like I'm going to kick at you guys. But instead, my foot's going to go straight back and land. So one more time from the front. My front foot goes back. Flamingo, straight back. Good. Let's try that kick from the side now. We're going to do it slow. We're going to do a medium, and then we're going to challenge ourselves with a little bit of speed. So I'm going to start, I like to start on my left leg because it's my weakest. Once I do my hard leg, it's, it's even better on my weak leg. So my right leg's going to come back, my hips are square, my knee lifts up, and my kick goes back. Notice how I'm leading with the heel. Three chamber, back down. If you can do it slow motion, your fast is going to be that much better. Step, flamingo, kick, Rechamber, reset. Step, flamingo, kick, rechamber, reset. Good. Same leg, let's speed that up just a little bit. Step, flamingo, kick, rechamber down. Don't worry about height. If you can only kick to uh, midsection or a little bit lower right now, remember technique is the most important. Step, flamingo, kick, rechamber down. Step, flamingo, kick, rechamber down. Good. Same leg. Here's your challenge now. Blast it out and move. 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 Good. One more time back and move. Move. And move. Good. Right leg now. One time slow, one time medium, one time fast. Here we go. So, front leg comes in, hit square up, knee lifts, kick, we chamber down, feet together, flamingo, kick, we chamber down, flamingo, up, kick, we chamber down, one more, up, boom, pop, here we go, same leg, slightly faster, just a little bit, step, flamingo, kick, we chamber down, Step, flamingo, kick, and chamber down. Step, flamingo, kick, and chamber down. Step, flamingo, kick, and chamber down. One quick note. Try not to let your knee go to the side, otherwise it's a side kick. Last time, let's blast it. And move. 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 Good. Switch sides, and move. Same foot. Move. Move. Good. Come on up. Shake it out. All right. 
last little little um, challenge I want to put uh, to you guys. We had one challenge that was set yesterday for those of us who weren't in class or didn't get a chance to see it online, and that was the holding breath exercise. So the challenge was hold your breath and see how many times you can get through. Start walking without speeding it up, doing it strong without letting that breath out. I got to two yesterday. See if you can match me or beat it. I'm gonna see myself next week where I can get to it. Next one, next challenge is balance exercise to challenge at home. Is we're gonna keep it simple. You're gonna lift your leg up, you're gonna pull your arms back, and you're just gonna see how many front two knuckle punches. Once again, I'm keeping a constant rhythm. I'm not cheating by just doing no punches. I'm going the whole way back. How long can you keep your leg up? Try both legs. See if you can do it every day, and, and, and I bet you that by the end of the week, you're going to get a whole another 15, uh, 30 seconds, maybe even a minute stronger. All right. Everybody come on back up. Let's get in our nice, strong front positions. Good to see everybody today. Good little workout. Remember our ideas of range, um, our little footwork that we cover, uh, step throughs. Uh, push drags and shuffles. Enjoy the rest of your day. The sun is, is out. So get some fresh air a little bit if you can today. And we'll plan on seeing everybody again tomorrow at 1. Show respect. Good. Step out. Deep breaths in through the nose. Out through the nose. Up, salute. Happy day.